there's a very common phrase called the reptilian brain yeah which is very alive in us today as well yeah so i'm going to have to ask you to come back to 2025 mm. and talk about what the reptilian brain is because we share this with the dinosaurs yes so the reptilian brain is the most primitive part of the brain that is where your brain stem is and the reptilian brain is responsible for the core survival parts of our body which is breathing your heart rate and your core defense mechanisms so that fight and flight ka jo sabse basic structure hai wo reptilian brain mein hai theek hai it it doesn't even cover the limbic system as it exists today that is still not reptilian brain reptilian brain is even before that so it is pr- primarily your brain stem and it has your core attraction towards food and and running away from danger itna hai reptilian brain mein that's it that's it and that still exists in us today so whenever you have an urge to not die whenever you have an urge to eat something or whenever you have an urge to have sex it's actually a gift of your reptile ancestors they felt the same yeah yeah do you think reptiles even get upset there's no way to know i'll tell you where i'm coming from we'd gone to vantara recently and we documented it and there was an interaction we had with the crocodiles where uh forest galante was guiding us through it he patted onto the crocodile enclosure all, all these crocodiles came towards us and there was like 100 crocodiles in front of wow. us wow ba 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 oh my god they will jump uh uh-huh. yeah <laughs> a little bit of primalness in their eyes for sure and there was just deadness in their eyes mm-hmm. i felt like there was no like zero emotion mm. nothing mm. i almost was envious of that <laughs> recently i had gone scuba diving and i dived with sharks in maldives and we were around 30 meters underwater and we were surrounded by around 6 tiger sharks huge ones 10 12 feet long and one of them swam next to me maybe 5 feet away and i could see its eyes it is completely black there's no blinking and it it ha- you you have a surreal experience because your human brain is wired to look for a- emotion every time you look into someone's eyes you are looking for some sort of emotion you are looking to understand what is going on you cannot understand what is going on in a shark's brain by looking into its eyes or are things even going on it is thinking of something it is reacting to the environment it is alive it's not dead it will act it might bite you but you are looking for signals from its eyes whether it will bite you or not but you are not wired you are not trained but the people who have been diving there for 10 years 20 years the the professionals there the guides they know so they know that this shark is behaving like this the shark is behaving. so they are they are now trained to understand the shark's behavior patterns so even in your example the guy who called the uh, the crocodiles he might not look into their eyes but he knows how he, what each alligator is feeling or each crocodile is feeling so emotion is a tricky thing because it takes two to understand an emotion it you also need to learn that animal's emotional behavior patterns so if you are seeing a crocodile for the first time you won't understand anything but they do have some reaction and you can see this with pets all the time right like with cats with dogs you know that some things you can say you shout at them they'll go to a corner and sulk that is upset sometimes they'll just look into your eyes and you know what they're thinking yeah they actually trying to convey something to you yeah and that's also your empathy because it's not that it's their thought it is your thought and you will now act accordingly so it takes two for that emotional connection to happen uh so coming back to that evolutionary story the reptilian brain is not really capable of expressing emotion the reptilian brain can't do that in fact at the reptilian level 
the facial muscles are not even developed enough to show expression. ये भी बात है ना कि communication कैसे करेंगे हम लोग जब when we look at the face, there is more than 50 small muscles in your face that is capable of doing all these expressions. A reptile's brain, a reptile's face doesn't have so many muscles. Its muscles are very simple. Jaw open, jaw closed. Eyes, whatever, that's it. Turn head. It's much simpler. So we are looking for expressions that it is physically incapable of making. That is the communication gap. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.